assalamu alaikum dear students how are you people i hope you are all fine um i am really sorry i really have wanted to upload some videos uh, regarding phonology but uh, i was busy uh, because i had my exams and then now you know uh, there was eid ul adha mubarak and eid mubarak to all of you so now we will not waste our time any further so what are we going to study today okay what is phonology difference between phonetics and phonology very important very important short notes in your exams very important students some major concepts of phonology phoneme phone allophone diaphone phonetic similarity but first of all you really need to subscribe to my channel learn english with zzz like and share and also comment but positively now what is phonology according to bloomfield phonology is the organization of sounds into patterns in order to fulfill the communicative functions languages organize their material the vocal noises into recurrent bits and pieces arranged in sound patterns it is the study of this formal organization of languages which is known as phonology now what is sound how and where is it produced from how is it received by the ears how and why is sound different from the other is one sound different from other questions like these are the subject matters related to phonology not phonetics difference between phonetics and phonology so now there are huge differences between both of these fields of study now the difference between uh, phonetics and phonology is that of generality and particularity whereas phonetics is the sound is the science of speech sounds their production transmission and reception and the science to represent them in general with no particular reference to any one language phonology on the other hand is the study of vocal sounds and sound changes phonemes and their variants in particular language If phonetics can be likened to a world, then phonology is its country. Some major concepts of phonology. So, phoneme is the basic unit of language. Bloomfield and Daniel Jones have described phonemes in purely physical terms. Sapir preferred psychological definitions. Some regard the phoneme only as abstractional, fictitious unity and argue that in a language it is not phoneme but allophones that exist in reality. Now, the phoneme, according to Bloomfield, is the minimal unit of distinctive speech sound. The phoneme is the minimal bundle of relevant sound features. A phoneme is not a sound; it can be realized only through one of its allophones. it is a class of sounds actualized or realized in a different way in any given position by its representative the allophone allophone is the representative of phone or phoneme it is an ideal word with which the speaker strives while the allophone is the performance he achieves it occupies an area within which the various allophones move and operate A phoneme can be defined as the smallest contrastive linguistic unit which may bring about a change of meaning. Phoneme of a language may be discovered by forming minimal pairs. Pairs of words are different in respect of only one sound segment. The series of words such as pat, bat, cat, hat, sat and mat supplies us with the words which are distinguished simply by change in the first consonantal element of the sound sequence these elements of contrastive significance are phonemes and are symbolized as p b k h s m now i am extremely sorry if there are any errors mistakes in these words because i have you know typed all of this uh, presentation these slides uh, by hand so these are the typing errors now phone any objective sound any objective speech sound considered as a physical event and without regard as to how it fits into the structure of any given language is a phone 
and the phone is in phonology the smallest possible segment of sound abstracted from continuum of speech allophone some sounds the native speakers think are the same while others are different the linguist has to figure out what sounds are grouped together as the same what it is that they all have in common among themselves and how dissimilar are they to other groups of sounds in the informant speech and what criteria native speaker uses to tell sounds apart the co sound in meal calm and cool differ in meal it is at the front and the mouth in calm it is a little in the center and cool further back in the mouth in words for the phoneme k central k retracted k frontal k are all allophones hence allophone is a speech which is one of a number of variants of a phoneme such a variant can neither in complementary variation or in a free variation this is complementary c o m p l e m e n t a r y complementary not complementary i'm really sorry this is an typing error the occurrence of a particular allophone may be determined by its environment or it may be in free variation according to trager and smith an outline of english structure a linguist identifies these allophones in the following way the sounds should be phonetically similar they should be in complementary distribution they should exhibit pattern congruity with other groups of sounds diaphone sometimes a sound is used by a particular speaker or group of speakers of a language but is substituted by an other it is an other sound by some other speaker or group of speakers of the same language the bilabial plosive consonant sounds p and d may be often replaced by the aspirated sounds according to daniel jones the term diaphone is suggested to denote a sound used by one group of speakers together with other sounds which replace it consistently in the pronunciation of the speakers pronunciation of other speakers jones and his dates certain facts related to diaphone everyone has different styles of pronunciation such different styles are merely different ways of pronouncing the language when a person consistently uses one sound in one style of speech but substitutes another for it in another style it is as if two different people were speaking and the and the two sounds must be regarded as two members of the same diaphone care must be taken to distinguish diaphones from phonemes the different members of one phoneme are sounds used by one single person speaking in one particular style this sound is conditioned by the nature of the surrounding sound in the sequence and on the degree of stress sometimes also on length and intonation the different members of one diaphone are found comparing the speech of one person with that of another or in comparing two styles of speech of the same person phonetic similarity phonetic similarity sounds that share a phonetic feature such as nasality m n and e or labial quality p and b or frontal wall quality i and o and in the sense of all sounds are phonetically similar and are produced by the same organs of speech in another sense they are also dissimilar which is why we can tell them apart hence phonetic similarity is a tricky notion today this lesson will be all thank you so much for watching learn english with zzz like share and subscribe khuda hafiz take care of yourself